Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. We're in Belvedere at the Mopar Happening Show. And always one of the featured cars at uh, uh, the Boone County Fairground is when I see Mark Sakula. Mark, good to see you again. Good to see you too, Lou. And Mark, tell us, give us a brief introduction of where you work and what you do. Uh, my name is Mark Sakula. I own Magnum Auto Restoration in LaSalle, Illinois. And he's being very humble because he produces some of the greatest looking Mopars that you've ever seen. He's been on the show before. And his cars are just tremendous. With that being said, I'm going to grab the camera. Mark, what did you restore and bring here today? Today we have a 1970 Dodge Super B, 446 pack, four speed in Plum Crazy. In Plum Crazy. Step right alongside me. Let's go to our featured event. First of all, I mean, uh, what was the reaction of just driving down here in this? I mean, what do people do when they see this thing? Oh, well, anytime they see an old car, they love it. And when it's purple, the girls love it even more. <laughs> There's a feature. All right, that's cool. And how long did the res restoration on this car take? Uh, we spent about two years on it off and on from the time we got it till it was completely done. It just looks amazing. I just want to say, you know, really enjoy your work. And it's always fun when I see it because we, we kind of get it what, what, what we're doing. We're just making historical legacy of cars and showing people the history of them. And, and you have just a real knack in your restoration to make them look just like they did coming from the showroom. That's what our customers typically want. They want a bone stock just like it looked from the factory and appeals to more people that way, really. Just tremendous. I'm curious, this, this came from the factory that way? Yeah, uh, certain models in 1970, Dodge yeah. had their Scat Pack Club. Okay. And these were part of the Scat Pack. Uh, there's about five or six models, and don't ask me to name them off the top of my head. Okay. But that denoted it was part of the Scat Pack. As they said, run with the Scat Pack. Run with the Scat Pack. The unique grill and the unmistakably I think one of the cooler emblems, a bumblebee with what appears to be a blower and headers and a helmet. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. Actually, uniquely, I want to show the trunk. I usually don't show the trunk, but this kind of just talks about the level of restoration. I mean, just enjoy that for a moment beautiful beautiful all right let's uh, while you're shutting that I'm gonna go to the interior and we've got the uh, four speed on this one not only a four speed but the pistol grip Hurst four speed and um, let me just do that the cool manufacturing code information there's a lot of room in this car see the back seat and the ashtrays for everyone This dash looks like it's brand spanking new. How do you do that? How do you make this? Every part has been restored, including the wood drain and the chrome bezels and the gauges. Everything is basically brand new. Yeah, it's just, it's just amazing. You get basically to see a brand new car. All right, let's take a look under the hood, please. Now, um, Hood pins came standard with this car? No, that's optional. Okay, optional. Oh, it was a factory option. Factory option. Gotcha. Yep, those are from the factory. How, show me how that hood opens again. This... Uh, you've got this latch here, okay. the primary latch. So the latch is here. You can see the, there, there's the primary. Yep, and, and then, then a secondary, your secondary, secondary latch here, your hood catch. Got it, Safety okay. Catch. So that hood scoop, as you can see, 
is functional. Yep, that is a, what they call the Ram Charger hood, which was optional on this car also. Brought fresh air in through those. You've got a cable on the dash, you pull. There's flaps underneath here that open up to allow cool air into the air cleaner. And you said there's a gauge inside the car? Uh, a, a pull. pull cable. Okay. I'll have to take a look at that. Tell me about the headers, why they're yellow like that. Uh, when the factory painted the engine, everything was on it. The manifolds, everything. They painted everything orange. So as the engine heat comes up, it burns most of the paint off. That's yeah. just basically the color orange after. residue left. Gotcha. All right. You see closer to the block, there'll be still more paint left around the edges here like that. Just out here, the more you run it. The more that burns off, you know, Got after it. a couple of years, it'll be nothing left. And then you get that typical Mopar rust color. There you go. All right. Let me see that, that uh, let, while we've got it open, let's start her up. And we'll uh, look at that pull cable as well. Where did I miss that at? Right here next to the shifter says carb air. Oh, let me... Got it now. All right, let's, uh, let's start her up. That is smooth. Yeah, it's it runs real well. Yeah, it's that is. Done, it's, everything's been done right. Yeah, that is really smooth. I mean, smoother than I was expecting. Mark, give it just a minute. Yeah, there we go. That sounds great. Let's shut her down. Come on out. We'll shut the hood for a moment. Wow, that's just a great stance. Mark, I'm just excited for you. What does it feel like when you finally get done with a restoration like this? I mean, what's the feeling? It's awesome, you know, it's, even though they're not yours, yeah. you feel like it's your car because you take it from nothing and build it back up. Yeah. It's like having another kid all the time and it's <laughs> great. The best part really is seeing a customer that's so happy to finally relive a dream, maybe something they had long ago, maybe yes. something they always lusted after and can finally afford it. Mark, thanks again for being on My Car Story. Thank you, Lou.